Hi folks, this is Rahul with MySmartPrice.com. Today we are checking out the Samsung Galaxy A8 in detail. Price just under the rupees 30,000 mark. Samsung has positioned the Galaxy A8 as a device that bridges the gap between the mid-range devices and their high-end offerings. The Galaxy A8 is part of Samsung's alpha family of mid-range devices that first debuted back in October 2014. Other models in this range include the Galaxy A3 and the Galaxy A5. Let us now check out the A8 in detail. We managed to get our hands on the gold colored version of the Galaxy A8. The phone is also available in black and white color options. Uh, let us start off with the design aspect of the phone first. The Samsung Galaxy A8 features a swelled metallic frame with chamfered edges. The phone features a large 5.7 inch display at the front. The 5 megapixel front camera is located on the right of the earpiece. We also have a proximity sensor and an ambient light sensor located here. The prominent Samsung logo is located right below the earpiece. Below the display, we have a home button which also houses the fingerprint scanner. The back and the app switcher key are located on either sides of the home button. Moving on to the right, we have the power button over here. On the left side, we have the volume rocker keys and the twin slots for SIM cards and a micro SD card. At the bottom, we have the micro USB port, the 3.5 mm audio jack and the primary microphone. The secondary microphone is located at the top of the device. The Samsung Galaxy A8 is 158mm tall, 76.8mm wide and only 5.9mm thick. When held, the phone does appear a bit tall. Moving on to the back, we have the 16 megapixel primary camera here which also gets an LED flash right next to it. The small speaker grill is also visible. The Samsung logo as well as the Duo's branding is also clearly seen. Though the phone is quite large, the A8 has a wonderful grip thanks to its patterned back and the brushed metal frame giving it an overall good feel in the hands. Let us talk about the display in detail now. The Galaxy A8 boasts of a Full HD Super AMOLED display with 386ppi pixel density on offer. This is one of the best looking displays in the upper mid-range segment. The A8 Super AMOLED panel is bright enough to let you read text even under direct sunlight. Multi-touch experience and touch responsiveness of the display was great as well. The Samsung Galaxy A8 is powered by the Octa-Core Exynos 5430 mobile chipset. This chipset boasts of 4 Cortex-A15 processing cores clocked at 1.8 GHz and 4 Cortex-A7 cores at 1.3 GHz. The chipset also gets a powerful Mali T628 GPU to handle system UI and the high resolution 3D games with ease. There is 2GB of RAM which is low compared to what several computing handsets offer. The phone comes with 32GB of onboard storage out of which roughly 25GB is available to the user. Thankfully, Samsung does offer a micro SD card slot on the A8. This dual SIM version of the phone gets two slots out of which one is a dedicated SIM slot while the other is a hybrid SIM slot that can take a SIM card or a micro SD card. Both the SIM slots support 4G LTE networks in India. It also gets dual band Wi-Fi support. Moving on to the software, the Samsung Galaxy A8 runs Android 5.1.1 Lollipop underneath the usual touchways user interface out of the box. The phone can be unlocked quickly by a simple swipe gesture. Apart from the usual Android unlock methods, we also have the fingerprint scanner which adds an extra layer of security. A few basic themes come pre-installed on the phone and allows you to customize the look and feel of the phone. The phone also comes with Microsoft OneNote pre-installed. Samsung Galaxy A8 owners will also get 100GB of OneDrive storage if they sign in using the handset. We face no stutter or jitter while using several apps at a time. Finicky users might notice some lag in the dialer, SMS and while using WhatsApp. Moving on to the camera, the Samsung Galaxy A8 gets a 16 megapixel camera with a CMOS sensor at the rear. The primary camera gets autofocus and LED flash as well. By default, the camera has f1.9 aperture and shoots 16 megapixel resolution images in the 4 to 3 ratio. The camera menu is quite simple and easy to use. It has several preset shooting modes including auto, continuous, HDR, night and panorama. 
Several other modes can be downloaded from the Samsung store. There is a pro mode as well that lets the user take comprehensive manual control in adjusting the values for white balance, ISO and exposure. Besides that, there are also some live filters to experiment with. The Galaxy A8 takes great pictures in daylight. The camera manages to capture images with great amount of details, good colors and sharpness. However, the performance is mediocre in low light conditions. The lack of optical image stabilization is also sorely felt. The front facing 5 megapixel camera also has a CMOS sensor and a wider aperture which allows it to capture selfies in wide angles. Here are a few image samples. The Samsung Galaxy A8 supports video recording in 1080p Full HD at 30 frames per second. While this is fine, several other devices in its price range offer either 4K recording or Full HD support at 60 frames per second. Also, the slow motion mode is conspicuous by its absence. Here is a video sample. Moving on to the multimedia capabilities, the Galaxy A8 comes with a fairly well equipped music player app. The player has a very simple interface and gets options for browsing files, albums, genres, artists, folders and even composers. The app also features the sound alive mode to tune the audio output to match your taste. It also gets an equalizer with several preset modes. For an audio lover, the music app is an absolute delight. The audio output from the speakers is clear but it is sort of muddled if the phone is kept on a bed or other surfaces. Audio playback through the headphones is great thanks to the various equalizer options. The A8 features a well equipped video player as well. It also gets the ability to perform basic video editing. Even though the Samsung Galaxy A8 uses the octa-core Exynos 5 series 32-bit chipset which is a generation old, Samsung has managed the software well. I did not face any major lags and the phone multitasks with ease. The A8 managed to score decent points in the Antutu benchmark test. Gaming was great on the Galaxy A8 with the phone managing to easily play graphically intensive games. The phone did get warm after a long gaming session thanks to the metal frame but apart from that there was no problems. Voice call quality was above average since the earpiece delivered crystal clear audio and the built in microphone delivered voice without letting ambient noise hamper it. Moving on to the battery life. Battery life usually is the biggest trade off when it comes to slim phones. However, Samsung managed to squeeze in a 3050mAh battery inside the 5.9mm thick chassis. However, the phone managed to blow us away with its phenomenal battery life. We managed to make it run for 2 days with medium brightness and got more than 5 hours of screen on time without including the gaming sessions on it. With moderate usage involving phone calls, instant messaging on WhatsApp, using social media networks, listening to music and an occasional video streaming, the phone just managed to run for more than a day and a half. The phone also gets the power saving and the ultra power saving mode for squeezing out even more battery life. The lack of quick charge does hurt the phone because the phone takes more than 2 hours and 20 minutes to charge from 0 to 100%. The Galaxy A8 was priced at Rs 32,500 at the time of its launch. The price has now come down to between 28.5k and just below Rs 30,000 depending on where you are buying it from. While the A8 is quite a capable device, we feel it's still overpriced. It would make a great buy if it comes under the Rs 25,000 price bracket. That said, if you are on a lookout for a large screen phablet with zero performance lag and great battery life, you cannot go wrong with the Galaxy A8. That was the review of the Samsung Galaxy A8. In case you have any queries and questions regarding this phone, please do let us know in the comment section below. You can also tweet your queries to at Wizkid, which is my Twitter handle. This is Rahul Srinivas signing off for MySmartPrice.com. Thanks a lot.